friends, welcome to a brand new video. My name is Narrator-san. If you guys like this video and want to see more, then be sure to click the like button. Our goal for this video is 2,000 likes. Anyways, let's begin. Today's video is all about Brawly. Let's see how Brawly has evolved in the last 15 years with a brand new movie being the cherry on top. Brawly, the legendary Super Saiyan 15 years later. Now, when it comes to the legendary Super Saiyan Brawly, what pops in your head? It's either that blonde giant from the past who gave the Z Warriors the beating of a lifetime, or a new fresh warrior who made Dragon Ball Super reach new heights and attract a lot more fans all around the world. I'm pretty sure some of the OG fans are super confused right now since some Dragon Ball fans being older than Roshi at this point. I don't blame you for not keeping up with the anime universe in this day and age. You have grandkids to take care of, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But today we've gathered to recall, to remember, and reminisce the movie that made history, that made one of the best characters anime has ever seen rise from the ashes and hit everyone's radar once again after having a slumber that's made his name go down as one that's only a figment of a memory now. Plus, with the super baffled readers having no idea what's going on right now, getting a sneak peek at what they're getting with the Broly movie right here. None of us can really complain about where things are headed with this, right? So, just sit back, relax... <laughs> Wait, how can we relax when it's Dragon Ball, right? Sit back, let that adrenaline skyrocket, and let's fight the ape head on. We should give Goku a hand this time, because... <laughs> He for sure needs it with this one. This, this movie... <clears throat> I'm not good at multitasking. <laughs> Quick break to focus on this part of the drawing. This movie not only gave us a new look, but also gave us a completely different setting. We all remember Broly as this Saiyan from another planet that has showed us how Vegeta isn't the undisputed king of the yelling contest he holds every five minutes or so. With a guy getting a steroid overdose all of a sudden and transforming into someone who is literally hardly being kept in check by the screen itself. Let's be honest here, it's safe to say that Akira sure went overboard with this character in the last century. Something that made his movies just hit different even if it involved the most thrashing we've ever seen from an anime movie. But in the new movie, you see something different. I think I forgot to remind you guys to like, subscribe, and share with your friends, your family, your neighbor, your neighbor's neighbor, the delivery man, the people you like, the people you don't like, with your dog, with your cat, with your neighbor's cat. Yes, your neighbor's cat. <coughs> Anyways, but in the new movie, you see something different. You see a man who has a different story, a different tale to tell, different experiences to share, stuff that those flashbacks won't be able to deliver the way they did back then. Coming face to face with Goku rather early this time and having an encounter that's not even a bit close to how we remember things going down between the two of the strongest warriors that anime has seen to this date. It's beyond question that this anime is already trying to make a change, and with Broly being the center of it all, it just doesn't get any better than this. Guys, it just doesn't get any better than this. The Broly movie made Dragon Ball great again. I'm pretty sure the best selling point of Dragon Ball has always been the combat. The over-the-top fights that make each and every one of us get super drunk on those punches, those kicks that make us want to try stuff out in real life, only to end up in the hospital for whatever reason. Back in 2018, Dragon Ball Super had already gifted us with new and upcoming superstars of the multiverse, with names like Hit and Jiren topping the list by a long shot, making others bite the dust in an instant. But if you compare this movie with what we'd seen in the entire series so far, it just doesn't even come close to how worlds apart the two actually are. Lightning fast, 
fluid and just complete mastery over the art of making characters go at each other with everything they got. The action choreography and the animation in the movie really shows us how much a difference a good pay makes in the anime universe. No, I'm super serious right here. Some of these scenes could give the king of it all, One Punch Man, a run for its money in a heartbeat. And that's not me even getting a dose of that copium that is everyone's go-to drink in 2022. Whether it's Goku and Vegeta making the overpowered ape use their bodies to clear snow that's making everyone feel cold since minute one, or just Frieza showing us a side to him that makes everyone remember just how rotten the alien from the mech can really get. You could say that everything's been taken from the past and punched to a whole new level all at the same time. Trust me, if you haven't already, you don't have the slightest idea about what I'm talking about since this is peak Dragon Ball action right here. You gotta join in the fray, even if you're super late to the party. Let me just quickly focus on drawing this part. I'll be back ASAP. Enjoy the music for a bit. To Red Vegeta. Okay, we know we're focusing on Broly right here, but let's talk about the Prince for a second. When the Battle of Gods movie came out, Beerus showed us a whole new path that Dragon Ball was ready to take in the near future. And that ritual they performed to make Goku's red form pop out of the blue didn't make any sense back in the day. Well, it still doesn't. And that's what Dragon Ball excels at the most, making anything pop up from any direction imaginable. But this was a huge thing for sure. With Vegeta always being the number two, it's safe to say that fans were getting tired of seeing Goku and the others hog away all the glory. And Vegeta getting these forms skipped for reasons that no one was able to comprehend even today. No Super Saiyan 3, no Super Saiyan Red. I don't know what these fans are smoking when they say that no one's playing favorites when it comes to Dragon Ball, to be honest. But the movie sure gave the Prince of All Saiyans some love and made him wear that crimson hue. That red glow the best he could, making each and every one of us hit the floor with our jaws as hard as we could. Plus, with the transitions and the animation being as fluid as it gets, it's no wonder that Vegeta's red is miles ahead of Goku's red at this point. An ape for hire, the strongest mercenary in the universe, finally seeing a happy ending. Brawly has always made us feel sorry for the guy for a number of reasons. Whether it's his past, his present, or his future, it's safe to say that the character's range and craziness has always looked rather justified even when he's giving your favorite character a hard time to breathe. Sure, things weren't much different with this movie either. Paragus and Frieza coming to the best agreement possible, harvesting their benefits as perfectly as they could. But all that fighting that went down the whole runtime of the movie, one thing that makes this the best Dragon Ball movie of all time is how there's no conversation. It's just pure Dragon Ball with characters fighting to death for every second that the movie delivers to the screen. Goku and Vegeta taking turns, teaming up to try to take this legendary Super Saiyan down while having no idea who he is. Makes us wonder how low IQ Saiyans can get, to be honest. But things get rather clear soon enough given how Broly isn't really a character in the universe that has stolen our hearts since we were little Senzu beads. Trying to leave the house to find that Roshi rock that he had marked for Goku and Krillin. Beating the masters at their own art, huh? 
The legendary Super Saiyan transformation is even better than it ever was, making full use of what the anime studio can offer in the mid 21st century while adapting the whole 90s look, making the perfect hybrid, bringing the best of both worlds. Trust me, I don't joke when I say that it gets super hard to follow the guys around at times. Given how these key blasts and special moves take the entire screen the entire time. Everyone's just too powerful in this day and age. But the perfect cherry on top is that after all that fighting, all that trying to kill the other person from the same race, things go down in the most wholesome way possible with Goku and Broly becoming friends this time. And with them ending things on a good note without anyone dying or getting a vacation to Snakeway or King Kai's round planet or something. Peace isn't too bad, even if it's in Dragon Ball where being either dead or alive doesn't make one bit of a difference to be honest. Redefining it all, making things seem like they're fresh yet old but gold. I'm pretty sure if you want to pull off a remake of a cult classic, then you can use a lot of inspiration from this movie right here, because with this perfect of a reference out in the market, you've got to be an utter fool to not do this in a similar, if not a totally similar way. Quick break! We'll continue the story in a bit. Yes, you heard it right. The legendary Super Saiyan who's always been a memory, despite being a couple movies old, is finally canon this time. Sheesh. All that yelling wasn't able to convince anyone at Toy of his existence. Truly makes you wonder how hard one has to bleed his lungs for them to hear you plea even for a second. Or maybe they're just deaf, who knows. Anyways, Broly becoming canon is the best thing that could happen to Dragon Ball, to be honest. Throughout the movie, the boys not recognizing the very face, the very brawn that made them look like utter sandbags back in the day. It sure made a lot of questions pop up in each and every one of our heads since that just made no sense whatsoever. But it doesn't stop at just that. With Frieza in the mix this time and the father-son bonding coming together and going out in a way that makes us hate Frieza even more than we did, everything's kind of rewritten and redone for the most part, and that's what ends up making things a lot sweeter for sure. Plus, to top it all off, we've got Gogeta and, <coughs> <coughs> and Brawly going at it. Like, what more could we ask for? Two of the best characters coming together and getting real at the same time just made fans super crazy the moment they caught wind of this back in the day. I'm pretty sure that remembering that just now made a lot of us get goosebumps all of a sudden. But that's just how insane it is. Toei sure does the unimaginable at times. You gotta give the guys some love. Anyways guys, I think it's time for another reminder to subscribe, like, and turn that bell on to not miss any further videos from Team Zane, because there is a lot of exciting stuff coming up and you would never forgive yourself for missing out. Zane Fighters Mega Force, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> the final verdict. It's safe to say that Dragon Ball Super Broly makes the good old character age really well. It just makes the Saiyan rise from the ashes to conquer it all, to show everyone who's the boss when it comes to the Saiyan race. The combat is just something else, and with the new movie coming out soon as well, it'll be a total delight to witness what that brings to the table given how different it's looking from the get-go. Heck, I feel like we all need to re-watch this masterpiece before the new one starts making records left and right. Given how the fandom is going to make it reach heights no movie has ever made any of us imagine before. 
If you are one of the very few people who haven't caught up with the movie yet, do yourself a favor and watch it. Come on, go. Watch it now. No, 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 wait, okay, let me finish the video first. You can literally find it anywhere, and trust me, as a Dragon Ball fan, you'll be doing yourself the biggest favor in existence. Relive peak Dragon Ball with this movie and make Broly come to life again since he has for sure been sleeping for far too long at this point. Either way, I am eagerly waiting for the next video and I hope you guys are there as well. I'm logging out for the day. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until we meet again, see you in the next episode of Dragon Ball Zane.